This video showcases a unique project for a member of the Northern Arizona Wind & Sun family that was accomplished with the help of our technical sales and design team. Through this project and others like it, our dedicated staff has gained valuable hands-on knowledge and experience that is applied in their work every day to design and create systems for you. Northern Arizona Wind & Sun is proud to employ a team of talented, enthusiastic, and highly trained individuals who give 110% to make sure you get the best equipment available combined with the knowledge you need to succeed. We have been designing and supplying systems like these for over 40 years while staying on top of the latest technological improvements across all aspects of the industry. We strive to get you everything you need to harness renewable energy resources for any application or lifestyle. This installation takes place in the Kaibab National Forest in Northern Arizona. Work began first with excavation. The area needed to be cleared for the installation of the solar panels and required mounting hardware. The soil at this location was extremely hard, so there were only a couple feet of topsoil which could be cleared before hitting solid rock. Next, wood frames were built to hold the concrete foundations needed for each solar panel mount. Most of the concrete material used in the foundation is above ground due to the hard, rocky soil. The three wood frames were leveled and centered with respect to each other. Holes were drilled on the sides of the frame boxes to allow for a conduit to run between them. Steel rebar pieces were placed inside of each frame box to provide structure for the concrete. These also aided in positioning and leveling the pole in each box. Pipe glue was used to attach the conduit pieces between frame boxes. The large 6-inch Schedule 40 steel pole, which actually holds the solar panels, was cut to size and placed in the center of each frame box. A lot of concrete was required and several pallets of packaged concrete mix was used for this installation. A UFER ground was installed in each of the concrete foundations. With the top of pole mount foundations poured and dry and the pipe fully set, it was time to start mounting equipment. The first thing installed on the top of each pole was the pole cap followed by the mount strong back and then the panel rails. Each top of pole mount holds six REC 330 watt N-peak modules. There are a total of 18 modules in the system, making it a 5.9 kilowatt solar array. Next, the solar panels are attached to the mount. Solar panels were installed on one side of each mount first, then the mounts were tilted to allow for panels to be attached to the other side. This was done until all mounts were filled with six solar panels on each. The tilt angle on each mount can be adjusted seasonally if needed.
PVC conduit which was previously installed in the foundations is cut and secured to each pipe. This will allow for attachment of junction boxes and or combiner boxes that will be used to facilitate connections between solar panels and the equipment. The power electronics used in this system was a pre-wired FPR system from Outback Power. A mounting location was selected on an inner wall of the container. The FPR system was then mounted on the wall with lots of extra help. Next, fish tape was used to pull wires through conduit. Cables were ran through underground conduit between panels, equipment, and the home. Solar panel wires and grounds were connected into a combiner box. This joins each group of six series connected panels together in parallel before going back to the charge controller. A ground lug was installed on each individual solar panel frame. These ultimately tie back into the UFER grounds that are within the concrete foundations. The wires coming in from the solar array and the outgoing wires to bring power to the home from the new equipment were connected into the pre-wired FPR system. Next, a prefabricated custom battery enclosure made by Tamrac was assembled. Three Discover AES lithium iron phosphate batteries were installed in this system. Each battery is 48 volt nominal with 7.4 kilowatt hours or 130 amp hours of total energy storage. These lithium batteries have an integrated battery management system. Victron Lynx power in bus bars were used to facilitate connections between batteries and the equipment. Once everything was mounted and all electrical connections were made, the equipment was turned on for the first time by applying power from the batteries. Proper charge settings were programmed on the Outback Mate 3S system display using Discover's battery integration guide. Breakers in the combiner box were also turned on, which connects the solar panels to the charge controller and allows charging from the sun. This was a big upgrade from an existing system with 5,940 watts of new solar installed, replacing a much smaller array and an aging inverter system. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment.